so many people that I've seen and not just ministers, even many Christians, because of this offense, many have even destroyed their call because mm -hmm. it has choked the grace of God in their heart. Anything that you want to share so that people can overcome it and, and not get a trap of getting offended because they feel that they are justified to have that kind of... Usually all offense is justified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even if it's based out of a lie. Yeah. yeah. I think I was one of the most offended guy or offendable guy. I was very sensitive. I always had a chip on my shoulder. I always thought I was better than others. And I remember even being in Bible school, how I would get offended that I was not chosen to be the head usher when someone who is 18 year old was chosen. And I had more experience in ministry. You know, so all those thoughts that go to your mind. And then when I started on the ministry, a lot of persecution, things that I expected from others, it did not come in my life. And no one was there to support the ministry. So I went through a lot of offense, carried a lot of hurts, and that led to depression, that led to just a very uh, lonely, restless. Offense is not, it's not nice. It's yeah. not nice to be an offense, it's yeah. terrible. So it was really just an encounter with God's love as a heavenly father. Because I was so broken and I was so desperate, so depressed, that I was so empty, that when people ministered to me, presence of the Holy Spirit and the love of God, the love of God just filled my heart. And it was a journey of healing where I was just forgiving people that had offended me. That brought me to the understanding of God as a good father. It's really, really good. And the grace of God, the love of God, and how the grace of God is so vast that even if someone were to hurt me in any way, hurt my ministry, take something away from me, that's not going to minus anything from my life because the grace of God is so much bigger than that. Yeah. And so I think that understanding, that revelation allowed me to live in a place where I'm just able to forgive people who hurt me, mm -hmm. able to just honor people who don't honor me in return, and just keep my heart in a place where I don't allow offense to come in. So it's really knowing how much I'm loved. I was just testifying to a young man who came to my house for, for prayer mm -hmm. because he wanted to separate from his wife because his wife had done something that he was very hurt. I just reminded him what Christ has done for him and it just dawned on him that then I can forgive my wife because when we know how much we are forgiven, even when we don't deserve, and we know that with all the way we are offending God, He still keeps on forgiving us. And that revelation really allows me to be able to forgive my wife, my children, my family, everyone. Because we get offended every day, honestly. Little things, big things. Yes. You know? So just being able to walk in love and walk in grace has really, really helped me to stay in a healthy place. Uh, because the enemy is always attacking people. Yes. to be offended. Sometimes jealousy is a kind of offense. And it's again, when you understand grace, even if people seem to be more blessed than you, people take advantage of you. Those are the things that as ministers, we get offended. But then understanding that, you know, the grace of God is unlimited. Yeah. There's no end to it. Even though if people were to do that, they're not going to be taking everything from your life. They're not going to be minusing from your life. You see, how difficult is it to give two rupees to someone every day if you know every day 10 rupees is just coming into your account? You know? So that's the grace of God. It's endless. It's continuous every day. So we can always keep on forgiving people.